All right, it's 11 o'clock, welcome. I'd like to just remind everyone to stay on mute until you are ready to go. My name is Kirby Roberts and I welcome everyone to the New England Virtual Sea Summit. I'm the Marketing and Catering Director at UMass Dartmouth for Chartwell's Higher Education. And today I'll be monitoring today's event. Please take a moment to familiar yourself with the features of the summit. So you'll see down below, you have the chat box, the question box, and you can see the participants or the number of participants. I'd like to thank and welcome Tanya Taranofsky, today's facilitator from Farm to Institution New England, also known as FINE. Thank you for your support today. None of this would be possible without you. Tanya is the Director of Programs at FINE and she leads FINE's Farm and Seed Campus Network and Food Service Programs. She will be your co-host today. Our goal for today's event is to focus on leveraging institutions to support local seafood producers, kelp, and underutilized species. So again, the Q&A is there. Please use the Q&A to ask questions throughout. We'll be checking them. Introduce yourself in the attendee box, um, the chat box. You can just put your name and where you're from and what you're interested today. We'll be checking the chat throughout the entire Sea Summit today. You can share your role, your organization. Just take a moment to say hi. So the 2021 New England Sea Summit is made possible today by support of the 2018 Food Vision Prize, which is sponsored by the Henry P. Kendall Foundation, along with Eastern State Connecticut University, Massachusetts Maritime Academy, Northeastern University, and the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, and the New Bedford Fishing Heritage Center. And together we were awarded two Food Vision Prizes, which we are expanding on today, kelp farming and underutilized fish. The New England Food Vision Prize itself is designed to accelerate progress towards the New England Food Vision that calls for the region to produce at least 50% of our food by 2060, while supporting healthy food for all, sustainable farming and fishing, and thriving communities. So thank you for joining us today. We're excited to present regional seafood experts, an engaging panel, and stakeholder dialogue later on. Our speakers will share how a team of colleges and supply chain partners tackled procurement issues through the 2018 Food Vision Prize. We'll also touch upon challenges and opportunities of producing and sourcing farmed kelp and underutilized fish species in New England. So our presentations today will share how the organizations worked to bring underutilized species into community and university dining programs, even with the added challenges presented by a global pandemic. Our speaker lineup is fantastic, and I'm really excited to share with all of you our program schedule for today. So just a really quick run through at a glance. From 1115, we have Brianna Warner, CEO of Atlantic Sea Farms, Kelp and Production. At 1145, we have Barton Seaver, chef and author of The Joy of Seafood and Seafood Sea Greens. And at 1235, we'll be taking Q&A, which you can drop in the Q&A box down below from both Brianna and Barton. We'll take a short break at 12.50, and then at 1 p.m. we have our third speaker, Kate Masry, Program Director of Eating with the Ecosystem. So then we'll move on at 1.30 to our C, From C to Institution panel discussion about procurement and production. So we'll have Susie Flores, owner of the Stonington Kelp Company, or Kelp Farmer, Bill Blount, fisherman, Jamie Lyonet, Director of Red's Best Sustainable Seafood Program for Procurement, Kevin Gibbons, our executive chef at UMass Dartmouth, talking about procurement and the prize that we did. And Tom Barton, executive chef at Northeastern University, and he'll be talking about the chef side as well. At 2.30, we'll close with Q&A, and then at 3 p.m., that'll be it. This whole thing will be recorded, so please, at any time, if you have to step away, please know that you will be sent this to your emails, the same registration emails that you signed up with. We'll have designated times after speakers for questions and answers. So please type your questions in the Q&A found at the bottom of your screen. We know many of you already submitted questions. And we've pulled those for today. So we'll try to answer those throughout the program. 